channel. So today we're going to be doing the Christian girl tag. I've seen this in a couple of videos. I don't know who like actually came up with it, but we're going to do it. So I think it's about like 10 questions. I'm not sure. Let's say uh, nine questions. So it's going to be nine questions that I'm going to answer regarding uh, being a Christian. So number one is how long have you been saved and when did you become saved? So like I don't you know how people have like that February 2016 like I honestly don't know like it's been a journey like I grew up Catholic um, and it, I was very it was very like religious and I didn't have a real relationship with God but um, as I got older I think like middle school I started going um, with my cousin to her church Shout out to Fani. And um, I really started to want a relationship with God. But it was really a gradual thing. Like, it was never like I had this moment. Like, I don't know. It just happened. Like, slowly but surely, I got closer and closer to God. And I just built my relationship little by little. Um, so the second question is, what's your favorite Bible verse? And what does it mean to you? Um, so for me, it's it's not just one verse, but um, it's the end of Ephesians 6 is one of my favorite verses of the Bible, which talks about putting on the whole armor of God. So um, what that means to me is really like being intentional about really putting on your whole armor. I think a lot of the times like we leave space for the enemy to come in and do what he wants to do. But if we really put on the whole armor of God, we'll leave no space for the enemy to do anything. So I just um, I just try to be really intentional about every day, man. Like I'm putting on everything that God has for me. And I'm leaving no space for the enemy. So um, those are my favorite verses. Um, the third question is, is, what's your favorite Christian song and why? Um... My favorite Christian song is probably Fullness. I think by, it's, it's by Love Elevation Worship. Or Known by Taryn Wells. One of those two. Yeah, I think so. I honestly, like, it's hard to pick, but those are the, the songs that I'm listening to a lot lately. So those are probably my favorite. Um, okay, fourth one. What is your favorite Christian book? So, I really uh love jesus is by judas smith and i am number eight by john gray i can't pick between those two but they're really amazing books if you haven't read them make sure you read them like they're amazing um i am number eight um talks about you know being overlooked by other people but never being forgotten by god and i think that's a lot of that's something that a lot of us can relate to and jesus is just talked about pretty much everything that Jesus is. Sometimes we see him as this faraway person, but he's our friend, you know, he's our father, he's our protector. He's not just this faraway being that you just talk to once in a while, you know? So, um, fifth question is, what's your favorite thing about church? So my favorite thing about church is definitely worship. So for me, like, if I'm late to church and I don't get worship, like, I just feel off, like, I'm not ready for the word, like, I don't know. For me, worship is really, like, it's my time to, like, really press into the presence of God. And, you know, not only church, but, like, you don't have to wait till you go to church to worship. Just in general, like, really being able to just focus on God. Like, let everything that I happened in my day, everything that's happening with school or with work or anything else, and just really focusing on God and who He is to me, you know? And I think a lot of times... I know people say this like worship isn't really for God it's really reminding you of who he is you know like reminding you of his power so it just really reminds me of how powerful God is that no matter what I'm going through he's got it in control um so my the sixth question is if you can meet Jesus right now what would your first question or action be um <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I'd probably just hug him or something. Yeah, I'd probably just be like, I don't know. That's like crazy. That's scary. I don't know. That's crazy. Meeting Jesus. I'm not trying to die, but if it's my time. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. I would probably just hug him. I don't know. Can I hug you? <laughs> um, the seventh question is, oddest place you have ever prayed? I guess, like... I don't know if it's odd because I feel like like that's a like in the shower. Do people do that? Do you do that? 
Yeah, that's not weird. I don't think that's weird, but I guess. An elevator. One time I got stuck in an elevator. I was pretty young, but I started praying. So, I don't know if that's weird. Um, yeah, an elevator and the shower. I always pray in the shower, though, so that's not weird. Um, A, are you ready if Jesus were to come tomorrow? Um, no. I don't think I'll ever be ready, like, to be honest. Like, but I'm okay with that. Like, I mean, I'm living my life under God's will, and I pray that everything that I do is under His will, but, like, like, I feel like I can never say, like, yeah, I'm ready. If Jesus comes tomorrow, yeah, come right now. Like, ah, uh, that sounds... Wow. <laughs> um, huh? I want to get married. <laughs> I'm done, same. Um, nine. How do you openly share your faith? Um, I just think that... How do I openly share my faith? I mean, I try to share my, my faith as often as possible. Like, obviously, like, it's not like, Jesus, Jesus, but, um, just in general, like, if someone's asking me for advice or if, um, I don't know, if someone's asking me for advice or encouragement, like, I really try to encourage them in God's word, and I try my best. Obviously, sometimes our opinions sneak up in there, but I try my best to give people God's word or what God says about the situation and not only what I say about the situation, you know, because really, I'm just a human like them, and I make mistakes just like them and I don't have everything together, you know? So I just really try my best to, if people are asking me for advice or if I'm talking to someone, to really give them God's word. What does God say about this instead of what I say about it? And actually, that's it. So, I really enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it encouraged you in any way. And, um, and now it's time for the quote of the day. And for the quote of the day today, um... One of my pastors said this, I'm not sure which one, but he said, what the enemy cannot destroy, he distracts. So I think we have to understand that the enemy cannot touch us and he cannot separate us from God, but he can, he can distract us from the purpose and the plan that God has for us. So don't let the enemy distract you from your purpose. And when you feel like you're focusing more on your problems than on the purpose that God has for your life, just pray about it. Really seek God and ask Him to really strengthen you and strengthen your spirit so that your flesh doesn't take over. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and also like and comment on this video. And also let me know any videos that you want me to make in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Mwah.